Mary visits Elizabeth, Luke chapter 1, verses 39 through 45. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into this into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation or greeting of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost or the Ruach Kodesh. And she spake out loud with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Savior should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of your salutation sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from Yeshua. But the Most High is doing things, you guys, in these last days. Oh, be obedient to him. That's all I want to say. Just be obedient because he is doing things. And why should any of you miss out on what he is doing? Because you are not in prayer. You are not fasting. You are not reading your word. You have to be focused right now because he is speaking. And he wants to speak to every single one of us. Our father is not a respecter of persons. Open your ears. Open your Bible. Set yourself apart from your family and friends from time to time. He would like to speak to you. None of us is better than the other. This is for everyone. We serve a, an extremely righteous Savior. We serve an extremely righteous Father. The Most High is not a respecter of persons. I can, I'll say it over and over again. The way that the churches do it, they make you believe that the word is for some and that you have to be taught by people all the time, but it's not true. The word actually says that there would come a time when you wouldn't need a teacher. So if you're still in need of a teacher, it's maybe something you're not doing. When we come together, it should be for confirmation. I can share a word and that word should confirm something that he's already speaking to you. Maybe you have an inkling about something. And you just need confirmation or the word that somebody gives is another clue that helps you to put something, you know, to put put the truth together for yourself, you know, but it's not healthy to trust in man because any person can turn any day and be, you know, led away by their own lust and um, and start following Satan. And so. It's very dangerous to put all our trust in man. So let's not do that. Let's read the word. Let's study for ourselves. He's speaking and he would like to speak to everyone, everyone. Everything should pretty much be a confirmation. Nobody should be telling you what to do. You should have already had some type of feeling in your Ruach. If you don't have it, ask to be filled with what is well, more well known as the Holy Spirit. Okay. That's what the Ruach Kodesh is. But you know, ask, pray that you be filled, baptized with the Ruach or AKA the Holy Spirit because you need it. You can't see anything in this world without it. You can't understand the Bible without it. I read this thing over and over and it was never understandable to me until he gave me his spirit. Thank you all for listening. Be blessed.